All right, you guys, before the video starts, I just want to let you guys know that this topic that is you guys are about to watch me talk about, listen, whatever, um, is a huge one to me. It's very important to me. Um, it's it, You guys will get a better explanation of it. I didn't put all the details in because I didn't want to make this video like an hour long, but um, it's very important to me. So if you guys enjoy it, make sure you guys drop a like. If you don't, I'm not going to set a like or whatever. If you guys enjoy it, then you enjoy it. If you don't, then you don't. It's as simple as that. Um, so yeah, enjoy the video. Yeah. Got the chick I call it Lola. She feel like the ocean, like to drink and smoke some Doja, and I feel like smoking. Hey you guys, what's going on? It's your boy Cotton. Hope you guys are all having a great day today. Today's video, I'm just gonna kind of be telling you guys a story on like how I got with the squad that I'm with, like how I met my YouTube friends that I am currently surrounding myself with now. Uh, Green Goblin HD, Dr. Pineapples, those two are the only two that are really left from my OG group. But like, it's actually insane, because this April, I believe? Yes, it's April. I'm coming up to four years of knowing those guys. Like, four years is a long time for anything. I've met so many people in the last four years that have been part of, like, my core group, and then, like, just things happen, you know, they don't, they don't play anymore, or stuff like that. Uh, they go, went off to college, just, you know, they lived, they're living life now. They're, they don't surround themselves with like YouTube or Call of Duty. But me, uh, Dr. Pineapples, and uh, Luke are still like still here. So like I said, it's coming up to four years. This April will be four years since I've since I've known them. So I'm gonna tell you guys like where it all started. It's it's kind of cool actually. I was talking to one of my my good friends, Audio. None of you guys are gonna know who he is. Probably maybe like two or three of you that have been here since like a hundred subs, but. Um, other than that, a lot of people are not going to know who he is. So, like, it all started in April of 2012. I don't know if the exact details on how I met Audio. This is where it all starts, pretty much, is me meeting Audio or Charlie. I'll refer to him as either one. His real name's Charlie. But basically, we were playing MW3, and I just got into a random lobby, and I'm pretty sure one of us had dropped a Moab or something. Like, one of us was just going insane. Um, I'm pretty sure he had dropped like a solo mob, so I hit him up. I was like, yo, let's team up. So it started off me and audio, and then uh, I can't remember. Uh, it, it was so long ago, I'm sorry, you guys, but I can't remember all the exact details. Somehow, Dr. Pineapples got mixed into the situation. I think we had a mutual friend, me and, me and Charlie had a mutual friend with Dr. Pineapples who you know we just started playing with him because he was a youtuber at the time so we just kind of we, we all played together us three we, we would play all the time there was uh, there's some other people but i don't remember exactly who they were but the biggest piece to this whole puzzle was getting to know green goblin hd so luke used to stream a ton um he was actually sick for like a whole month i can't remember exactly what he was sick with um but he he was home he was home for a whole month uh did all the school work at home kind of stuff he just he couldn't go to school so all he would do was live stream and stuff this was before he hit a hundred thousand subscribers he was around like eighty thousand I think um, and he's almost at four hundred thousand so that that just tells you how long I've actually been friends with him so Luke would always tweet out or tell his stream you know I'm looking for support runners basically people that would run UAV and uh, ballistic vest just so he could get his mobs a lot easier um, made it so he could get those insane gameplays which was which was totally okay so he actually invited Dr. Pineapples to actually come run support for him and so I every we me and audio thought that was the coolest thing like we were we were such big fanboys we're like invite us to the next game invite us to the next game and eventually Luke actually invited us you know we did really well running support and everything he got I think he got a triple mob in one of them uh, one of the times we ran support for him so that was absolutely huge for him so I I remember the day like I will never forget this day the day that Luke followed me on Twitter he actually you know after we got playing I was like yo you should follow me on Twitter so he did and I was like oh my god oh my god I tweeted at him I was like yo do you, do you think you can add me sometime and he hit me with the biggest troll of 2012 he was like no dude I don't I don't play um xbox anymore like the day before uh he followed me he, we were i was running support for him on mw3 so like i knew something was up but he, i was like i believed it i was so heartbroken because i wanted to get to know him he added me uh he added me doctor and audio to skype calls we were always just chilling um we got to know each other really well luke has actually come to my house we've hung out we went to mlg anaheim in 2014 that this group is what started this whole youtube thing for me got me into it i like I honestly I do not think if I didn't if I didn't meet audio that one day I would not be in this position I'm in right now and then towards the end of black ops 2 you know we all started like audio started growing up a little bit more like I'm the exact same age as him but he started to like he quit YouTube everything started to focus more on school um, didn't talk to him too much so like towards the beginning it goes end of black ops 2 we had kind of it's kind of had just been me Luke and doctor Caleb quantum of T had started being in our group started 
hanging out with us more. That's kind of been the core group. We, like I keep saying, you know, we've just incorporated more people. We've met more people, you know, right away swag. Uh, Luke's girlfriend, Kelsey, who he met at MLG Anaheim, actually. Um, just that's our kind of our, our core group right there. But like last night, I was going through old tweets and it just, it, nostalgia hit me. Like, this is why I wanted to make this video so badly, just to kind of like tell you guys more about it. Because I know some of you guys have no idea, like, how I got into this whole YouTube thing. I consider them family because, you know, four years is a long time to be friends with somebody. It's kind of a bold, bold statement, but I consider my YouTube group of friends better friends than most of my in real life. Like, my core, my core in real life friends, like, those, those are my ride or dies. Like, those are my, my day ones. But, like, everybody else outside of that, I, I consider, I honestly consider my YouTube friends, like, way better friends the ones that I've met through gaming and through YouTube as a whole all right you guys I just wanted to kind of enlighten you guys on you know how I got to where I am like I said these guys are family um, like I wouldn't trade anyone uh, for these for the group that I'm in now the group that like I surrounded myself with since MW3 all the people that I've really met you know really uh, like audio audio is honestly uh, I consider him, like I said, family, but I consider him like a brother. Um, we talk all the time. We still catch up. Probably going to be going out to his college uh, to hang out with him very, very soon. Um, so if you guys enjoyed that, make sure you guys drop a like, and I'm out. Peace.